Hey everyone, welcome. This video, we're gonna be talking about default parameters. So right now we have this function and we pass in some data and it processes this data. And if we pass in some name like Caleb, I can't even spell my own name, run this, we get, hey there, welcome Caleb. But what happens if I try to invoke greet like so, and I pass nothing in? Running this and we get an error. It says missing one required positional argument name. So it's not gonna let us execute this code. But what if we just wanted to do like a generic greet, we don't use the person's exact name because the name might not be there. And an example of this that comes to my mind is when you sign up for a newsletter, you sometimes have the option to put in your first name and it might be optional. And when you don't put it in, you might get an email that says, hello subscriber, or if you put your name in, it might say, hello Caleb, they're often usually messed up and they usually say something like, hello, Curry, and then proceed with the message, but they tried. They, they used part of my name to create the message. Another way that you could say that is that they parameterized the email. We're parameterizing, we are parameterizing, we're parameterizing our function. That's a really hard word to say. <laughs> but enough on emails and parameterizing. We're just going to create a default here by saying name is equal to user. So if you don't put in your name, then it just defaults to user. Running this now, it says, hey there, welcome user. But we can still override that, we can give it a value. And when we do that, it uses that value instead. Hey there, Caleb. So that's an example of default parameters. So that's all I got for you guys now. Next up, we're gonna talk about how to deal with numerous arguments passed into a function.